Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on dynamics of fluid flow. In this video, we are going to find out what is the rate of flow of oil in pipe with the help of orifice meter. So first, I will read what is the given problem. An orifice meter with orifice diameter 15 cm is inserted in a pipe of 30 cm diameter. The pressure difference measured by mercury oil differential manometer on two sides of orifice meter gives a reading of 50 cm of mercury. Find the rate of flow of oil of specific gravity 0.9 when the coefficient of discharge of meter is equal to 0.64. So this was the given question. Let us first understand the diagram as per the given data. Now here the pipe with diameter 30 cm is given and here is the direction of flow. So we have to show here pipe with orifice meter of 15 cm diameter. So here this is 30 cm for pipe and 15 cm for this orifice meter. Now it is given that on two sides of orifice meter, this is the one side and this is the other side, the YouTube differential manometer is placed and here the level difference of mercury is given. That is if we observe this is the mercury level on one side of orifice meter and here is the other side of orifice meter. And this level difference is known as x and this value of x is given that is 50 centimeter of mercury. So we have to write x is equal to 50 centimeter of mercury. Now we will consider here the section 1 for the first side of this orifice meter and for the second side or on the other side of this orifice meter we will consider here the section 2. So what is the diameter at this section 1? So this is the diameter of section 1 that is D1 is equal to 30 centimeter. So from that we will calculate the area that is A1 is equal to pi by 4 30 square which is equal to 706.85 centimeter square. Now on the other side, what is the diameter of this orifice meter that is 15 centimeter. So D2 is equal to 15 centimeter that is this is, we will consider this as a section 2 and A2 is equal to pi by 4 15 square that is equal to 176.7 centimeter square and we know value of x is 15 centimeter of mercury. Now we have to find out what is the rate of flow. So for the calculation of rate of flow of oil through this pipe, we have to first calculate what is the differential pressure head. So that, that is what is the pressure head difference at this point 1 and at this point 2. So how to find out? So we have here the value of x. Now the specific gravity of oil and mercury is also given. So what is the specific gravity of oil is given? That is 0.9. So we will write here S to the base O. That is equal to 0.9. And what is the specific gravity of mercury? So in this uh, YouTube manometer mercury is there and it is a specific gravity that we know 13.6. So from this specific gravity, if we compare this 0.9 and 13.6, then this is the heavier liquid in YouTube manometer. So when we will uh, denote it by S to the base H, H for this heavier liquid or heavier fluid. So for this heavier fluid, we will denote it SH is equal to 13.6 and this is SO. SO is equal to 0.9. Now what is the formula to calculate H? So we know that when SH is there, we have formula H is equal to X in the bracket SH by SO minus 1. Now this X is in centimeter. So we will take here as it is. So 50 multiplied by 13.6 by 0.9 minus 1 which is equal to 705.5 centimeter of oil because it's a unit is x is having unit centimeter so we will write here the same unit that is centimeter of oil. Now the coefficient of discharge of orifice meter that is given and that is equal to 0.64 and we have to calculate rate of flow q. So what is the formula for Q? So Q is equal to this CD that is this coefficient of discharge 
सी डी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ए वन ए टू डिवाइडेड बाय अंडर रूट ऑफ ए वन स्क्वेर माइनस ए टू स्क्वेर सो रिमेम्बर दैट हियर ए वन इज मोर देन दिस ए टू सो वी विल फर्स्ट टेक हियर ए वन स्क्वेर माइनस ए टू स्क्वेर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय अंडर रूट ऑफ टू जी एच सो एच इज ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एटी वन सो इफ वी पुट ऑल द वैल्यूज हियर वी विल गेट द एंसर दैट इज वन लैक थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड फोर्टीन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड नाउ इफ वी ऑब्जर्व हियर ऑल द यूनिट्स आर इन सेंटीमीटर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेर सेंटीमीटर सो रिमेंबर दैट ऑल दिज यूनिट्स शूड बी सेम सो आई दर सेंटीमीटर और मीटर सो हियर ऑल द यूनिट्स आर सेंटीमीटर सो क्यू इज हैविंग यूनिट सेंटीमीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड Now we will convert it into meter per second. So how to convert? Multiply it with 10 raised to minus 3. So we have to shift here this point towards left hand side. That is 1, 2, 3. That it will become 137.414 liter per second. And this is the answer.